Hello, Craig Heffernan here. Let's get right to it and show you part two of how to build a pool deck 2018. If you missed how to install the pool or part one of how to build a pool deck, just hit the subscribe button to go to my channel to view all my videos. The last four holes are reserved for the girder, or otherwise known as the beam, or some old carpenters might call it a hog's back. <laughs> These are post to beam brackets. They are three and a half inches on one end for the post, and three inches on the other for the beam. I'm using two 2x8s that are nailed together to create the 3 inch thick beam. The nails are 3 inch ring shank galvanized and are ACQ approved for treated lumber. All the post holes are backfilled and tamped with dirt, not concrete. The posts are treated and are rated ground contact, guaranteed against rot and insect damage. Guaranteed. The layout for the floor joists are 16 inches on center. The back band will get a joist X on the right side, and the front band will get a joist X on the left side, while the beam in the middle will get a joist on both sides of the line. The joists are all 2x8s and are all 10 foot right off the shelf. They are tacked on with a couple of nails to hold them in place until the joist hangers are installed. You want to nail the joist ends together making sure that each one is flush to the top side. Then I use these hurricane clips to tie each joist down to the beam. This 2x8 joist end is cut by hand at a pretty aggressive 60 degree angle to fit the pool side. The rest of the joists go in the same and are held in by these adjustable 2x8 brackets. The last and final bracket, the old 2x8 joist hanger, it's put on all the ends of the joist we installed earlier. I pre-drill all the non-bearing outside 2x10 bands to accept the half inch by 5 inch leg screws and washers. And the outside bearing 2x10s receive these Z brackets as seen in part 1. I mark all the 4x4 posts at 35 and a half inches above the framing. This will put the finished rail height at 36 inches above the finished floor. I use a circular saw to cut as deep as I can. Then I use a handsaw to finish cutting them off. Using a handsaw gives the tops of the posts a smooth, even finish. I call this a dummy post because it goes to the bottom of the framing and not into a hole. It's marked at 35 and a half inches and temporarily held by a nail. It's then fastened with nails and two lag screws. These 2x6s are used as support for the decking border 
that we will install later. I put the 2x6s in between the posts and then give them extra support with these wooden blocks. The deck boards are ready to go. I'm using 5 quarter by 6 treated real wood. And if you watch part 3, I'll show you how I cut around the posts, create an edge border, and how to make the cuts around the pool. I'm Craig Heffern and thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And it helps me publish even more videos for you.